hello again. So, is it the same day? Did I just change clothes? Did I just put on some makeup? Who knows? Let's keep it that way. So, topic of today's video. So you think you're trans, huh? I feel that. Like, like deep down, I feel that. No, it's... <laughs> I like to incorporate humor because to me, that's how I coped because how else do you cope with this, this decision? How else do you cope with the idea that you may or may not be part of a minority that's so marginalized and oppressed? It's scary, but it's so rewarding. I'm going to flash a picture up here before, before I transition. Actually, a few. I never really smiled at any of them. Now, when I talk, when I like interact with people, I smile all the time. And that's not because of hormones. That's not because of I magically found a guru and they made me female. <clears throat> it's because I'm happy with who I am. It's because I finally feel free. Like, this is stuff you have to think about. Because... Hun, if you're thinking you're trans, it's a pretty good possibility. I'm not going to say 100%, but I've never really met a heterosexual person that thought they were gay, unless they were denying it. I never met a cis person that was like, you know, I thought I was trans for a couple of years. Now, there are things, again, this is your journey. First and foremost, we're going to put this out there. I don't give a shit. Again, we're going to swear in here. <laughs> I don't give a shit what anyone tells you. Whatever you decide, that's your decision. And there are no expectations. None. There's no, you're going to look like me one day. No. Because there's already one of me. There needs to be one of you. Like, we focus so much on this idea of, well, what if I'm trans? What do I do? What's the next thing? And then we get so anxious and then we just shut down. At least that's how I was. And everyone treats it differently. Especially nowadays. I grew up in the 90s in a very rural town where someone was murdered for being homosexual when I was very little. Like, in, in my town, the idea of a trans woman was a creepy guy going around and trying to, like, abduct little girls. So I was terrified. I was like, I'm not that way. I don't want to hurt people. So... That's what I mean. There's so many, so many factors of fear. And regardless of where you're at now, if you probably clicked on this video, you know, if you don't already know, then you're probably feeling a lot of fear. And even if you already know, you probably still have some and it's normal. I have fear every time I go grocery shopping. I survive. I'm still here. Every other day, I'm like, oh my God, did I do the right thing? And then I look in the mirror and I smile. I smile that I'm smiling. I tear up a little bit and cry. I'm not, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry right now. I'm wearing makeup. I'm not very good at makeup. So, like, literally, I've got like mascara and eyeliner on, and a little concealer. That's about it. So, um, you know, I don't like that's that's way down the line though. You don't have to be thinking of what am I gonna look like? What am I gonna wear? How am I gonna do this? Blah blah blah. You need to think about you. What's going on in your life that you're thinking about this? Odds are something triggered it. And it's not a bad thing. Triggers can be important. Triggers can tell us. It's our body telling us something's up and we need to pay attention. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. That's for you to decide. But if you're at this point in your life where you're like, I don't know if I'm trans. I might be. Okay. You might be. Have you talked to anybody? Have you asked anybody? Have you done research? One, I recommend staying away from Reddit. They, mm, Reddit and I, we got some, some quirks because of the whole, yeah, they bad medical practices. You have to remember as well, I have training in LGBTQ counseling. I'm not a counselor. I did not finish my master's, but I do have training. I can pull from my experience and I also have medical experience in this in this area. So 
I'm not going to sit here and diagnose you. Maybe if gender dysphoria, maybe you don't. I don't know. I don't know you. You know you. So what do you do with this? I wish I could give you an easy answer, but go talk to somebody. Talk to some friends. If you trust them. I didn't. I didn't talk to anybody. I literally, I went to counseling. It took me three years in counseling to admit that I could possibly be trans. God bless my counselor. She was amazing. I was very, very lucky to have someone like her because she stayed with me. But you do it on your time. If you rush any part of this process, I promise you, it's, it's not going to be what it can be. Take some time. Sit with it. Figure out what you're feeling. Are you feeling excited? Are you feeling scared? Are you feeling worried? I don't know. That's your feelings. But identify them. Look inside yourself and be like, is this me? For example, I knew-ish. I didn't know what trans was until I was like 22. But I had these thoughts since I was very, very young. Around four or five. You know, um... And I find when I talk to other trans people, that's typically normal. Um, but I didn't show any signs. Like, people still come up to me and they're like, I never knew. I'm like, yeah, that's the point. I didn't want you to know. And that's an option. Or maybe you want people to know. Just know that whatever you decide right now at this point, it's not set in stone. Whatever you decide in 20 years from now, it's not set in stone. Because it's about you and your life. So, again, what do we do with this? You're thinking you're trans. I'm, you, I'm sorry I disappointed you. You probably clicked on this video like, here's a step-by-step -step process. How to figure it out. No. But odds are, there's a meme floating around that it's like, click on a quiz to how to tell if you're gay. If you clicked on this quiz, then maybe. <laughs> maybe you might be gay. Um, and that's a thing as well. That's going to be covered in a later video, but being... Trans, transgender is nothing about sexuality. Your sexuality can change. Mine did. I was never interested in guys ever in my life. Never did. I was married to a woman. And then like eight months in hormones, I'm like, mm, he kind of cute though. <laughs> so things change, but gender identity and sex, we have no valid evidence right now that they're linked. So and I'm going to tell you that, man, you know, it's about you and what you need to do for yourself. And you need to ask yourself, what's right for you at this moment? Is it going out, finding a gender therapist, talking to them? Or is it waiting? Because maybe it's not so safe. Maybe you don't feel comfortable with it. Again, I waited years. I did a lot of therapy. Twice a week, every week for four years. I'm at, no, five years now. Um, and I still go every day. Well, not every day, obviously. Uh, two times a week I go. I try to. And it still helps because you're not getting therapy because there's anything wrong with you for being trans. You're getting therapy because the world thinks something's wrong with you when it's not. And that hurts. When your parents and your friends and society and media po could potentially come out and say, ooh, what's wrong with you? That's scary. I get it. Write in a journal. Draw. Do whatever you need to do to think about this. And I don't care if you go through 30 journals or if you go through one page until you find your answer. Find your answer on your dime, on your time, and in your expectations. Because no one says that... <laughs> problem with the trans community right now is a lot of people say, well, I wish I would have transitioned when I was younger. I transitioned when I was 28. I think I look okay. Yeah. So, maybe I don't. I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> but seriously, like, don't rush it, because this can be an amazing, your journey can be so amazing and wonderful if you decide to have it. You may decide it's not for you, or that you're not trans perfectly okay. The whole point of this is to figure it out. Find out who you are. And I promise you, 
never stop trying to find it because it can change. <laughs> At 25, I thought I knew everything about me. I was big macho military guy. I was in recon, hoorah, all this bullshit. Yeah, that toxic masculinity stuff. I love, don't get me wrong, I love the army. I love the soldiers I served with, everything like my experiences, but, um, you know, that was my journey. I wasn't ready at that time. If you're 12, if you're 15, if you're 42, doesn't matter. You start when you're ready. Because if you start when you're not ready, oh, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. But if you start when you're ready, it's gonna be amazing, I promise you. I really do. And you could have some doubts. I'm, I'm Christian, I wear my crucifix all the time. I, there are nuns that live right over there. You can't see where I'm pointing. But uh, on the other side of this wall lives a house of nuns. I'm on a Catholic college. And they are so wonderful, so kind. Um, I found community in Christian women, actually. Go figure. Does that mean all Christians are good? No. No. But it's just the same type. It's not all trans people are good. Not all gay people are good. Not all straight people are good. Not all people are good. But there are, the, there are people that are. And if you find them, what works for you? Politics-wise, I grew up in a very conservative household. My parents were still like kind of dealing with it. So it was not safe for me to come out when I was living with them, when I was reliant on them. But that was my, my situation. Figure out yours. It's okay to have doubts. You're going to have doubts. If anyone ever tells you that you shouldn't have doubts when going through it, they're lying. I have doubts every day. But then, I, like I said, I look in the mirror and I'm like, I'm happy. This is my life. And I finally have it back. So take your time. Love yourself. Respect yourself. Find who you are. There has to be no expectation in the end.